So I wasn't going to start this yet. Um, I am at work. This is my first time back at work uh, for a while. But I wanted to start this because I'm on basically an interstate um, in Minneapolis. It's never ever like this. All down there. Just backed up like crazy. Um, there was a tow truck and a police officer that just went through, so I'm assuming that something happened down there that uh, they needed to get there, because tow trucks do not have authorization to go on the shoulder unless they need to. Obviously they needed to, so um, I'm going to actually call my customer, because I'm probably going to be late. So there is something going on. Let's see if I can grab it. It's going to take a few seconds, but uh, hopefully. Ooh, that does not look good at all. Driving through glass and everything. They have kind of blocked it. It was three car pile up, four car pile up. Yeah, that's uh, that's no good. Now we're clear. Let's go. So I've just been sitting here again. I feel like it's just an occurrence that is going to keep happening if, well, you know, I don't change it. Um, it's four o'clock. I haven't done anything today except go to work for a couple hours and come back. I, I don't know, I was going to go, like, walk around... Um, I was going to go walk around Gander Mountain to see if my neighbor was going was wanting to go along. I saw him, um, hold on a second, male. I was playing on my Xbox and computer and I saw him walk out and go somewhere else, so, sorry, hold on a second, I need to fix my belt. Yeah, so I mean, I was going to go walk around Gander Mountain, but for no reason whatsoever but to just get out of the house and walk around. Um, I wonder if my brother is doing anything, I could ask him if he wants to go. Yeah, I, I just, I don't want to do this. I don't want to just sit around and do nothing. Um, I am technically working, but not working. I went to go fill out, I think, two applications today. Um, just to see. Um... I have a YouTube video set up on my phone. I'm just going to watch that for just a few seconds here. And then I think I'm going to go and try and figure out what I want to do today. Today's almost gone, but I want to do something. I don't want to just sit here. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Alright, it's probably the worst angle whatsoever, but I decided to change up my day just a little bit. Um, I set up my computer for another couple minutes, 
watch that YouTube video. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm doing the thing as I'm talking. So, I have this selfie stick. It connects to focus. Maybe not. It connects to my camera. It's got a handle and it extends that long. Basically from there to here. And I usually have it that long. Just a nice place to hold it, have it right there. I looked off to the side, down on the floor here, and I saw a whole bunch of paracord, a lot of, a little bit of black, and a whole lot of red. I thought, what if I did a wrap on this lower bar that doesn't move? This is basically the hand piece, and up to where that white dot is, does not move. Everything else moves, including that. And so if I just set it where I like it, and I wrap up to that white dot, I thought it might look kind of cool. This is the worst setup, and I don't have anything to, like, lift it up. Literally, there's nothing. Hold on a second. Yeah, that actually works. Um, so, yeah, I just thought maybe I would... Try something, just to, just to see. Um, let me actually see. Is this able to be taken out? It is, but uh, doesn't really need to be, I guess. I'm gonna put that back in. And I'm kind of going to show you how I do it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I might have to look up a couple of things. I do have my computer sitting right here in front of me. I'm at my desk. So I might go and look up uh, some handle, handle knots. I do have to take off this rubber piece, which is basically just like a a bike cable and I think it's just it kind of bulges out so your hand can sit and kind of hold it nicely. I'm pretty sure this bulge is just rubber and this is just one shush metal bar that goes across. Hopefully. I am going to try and see. Yeah, I think that's basically what it is, but I don't know. I could always get my bike handles, grips, off my bike, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to get this. Oh, that didn't work out the way that I wanted it, but uh, it's getting a little farther. It's a lot easier than I thought. I just have to get it up and over this piece. It's literally just going straight that way, straight up. I'm just hoping that if that stays there, because it moves, but if that stays there, I'm hoping I can just lift it straight up. Actually, I think, if I remember correctly,
this metal disc comes off. So just it's just a little screw. This camera does not work with focusing close distance. There. Just a little screw. This comes with a little piece to go on top. Now let's see if I take that off. Well, I'm almost there. That little piece inside is about that far in. It's almost done. Just a clean, nice metal surface to work with. That way I can put the paracord, trying to not like tangle it up, the paracord, just wrap it in some sort of handle wrap. I don't know exactly what yet. Like I said, I don't know if I want just like a normal handle wrap or if I want something that looks a little cool. I'm thinking something that just looks a little cool because I've got a lot of cord and, you know, it's just something something to do. I love doing paracord. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Oh, there it goes. Well, that, uh, it didn't do what I thought it did. Exactly what I wanted. Now, if I put this back on, hold on just a second. And I put this back on. Now, it is just basic. <laughs> I dropped it. Now it is basically just a baton. Um, a extendable, same length, same everything. Put it how I like it. Tighten her up. And I'm just going to go from here to there. It's not that long. It is about 10 inches. Um, so from this point where the metal kind of meets, I think, plastic to go to that the tripod piece to that that edge of that white dot is 10 inches which isn't that bad um, yeah so I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna look for some cool um, handle wraps. That might be a little difficult, but uh, it might look really cool. So yeah, let me look at this one, because this one actually looks really cool. Might be interesting to hold. There's a couple of websites that have uh, knots of the week, which I, I love looking at those just because, well, this is what I do. Uh, so let me, let me quickly look at this and uh, see what I got. Hold on one minute. So I figured one out. Ooh, hold on a second. That's kind of what it looks like. It's going to spiral all the way down. 
Uh, I put it right up to the top. There's a YouTube video that I'm kind of looked at because I thought it looked kind of cool. And it absolutely did. It, absolutely, it looked amazingly cool. Um, and so I'm going to be doing that. I have to do it like facing the opposite direction of my desk because I've got a little bit, little bit more space over here. Um, and I'm working with like 18 feet of paracord or more. Um, probably more. Yeah, it was going to make a belt for me, so um, I'm just in the process of doing this. It, Starting to look kind of cool. Um, it's just a spiral cross stitch. Um, so I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to show you guys just when I'm done. I'm not going to. If you guys want to know how to do this stuff, definitely let me know. I'll do a video on it. Um, I'm just not going to do it right now. I think this vlog is still going pretty long. So catch you guys when I'm done. That is only part of it. So it goes right from where there's a little hole there. Trying to make sure. There's a little hole there. I was trying to see if I could maybe work something through there, but I don't think I can. I don't think I'm just going to keep the lanyard that's on there. It goes right from the edge of that all the way down. All the way down. To there. This is only part of it. There's two more pieces that I'm going to put on it. Hopefully, if I can get it working. Um, I don't know exactly how long I need them. It takes up a lot of paracord, so I'm hoping that I have enough. But, all of that paracord, I still have... Hold on a second. Uh, 
I still have that much paracord. <laughs> I could still probably make another one of these with this. But I'm gonna keep that off to the side. I'm gonna get my other parts. Some other, I'm gonna do it in a different color. And uh, go from there. Catch you guys in a minute. Okay, so I was trying to do this quickly. I just quickly left the house to grab something. I have no idea where it is. I'm living at a craft store trying to find something. Might have to ask somebody. I might. I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, seriously, like I didn't even lock the door, I didn't bring my phone, I didn't do anything. I just ran out the door. It was like, I'm gonna grab this quickly. See if I can get this back to how it was. Just like that. What I needed to grab was, let me open them quick. They told me to grab them, and I didn't. I was like, ah, I can do it without it. They... Hold on. Got it done. That, uh... Doing my vlog! I don't know. I don't know why I just said it like that. It just happened that way. So... Anyways, I got it done. I will show you guys in just a little while. We're gonna run an errand quick. Um, right? What? Right? Sure. Sure? Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't work. I was trying to see, I've got a flash up top. I'm trying to see if it would work. Hold on a second. Well, it doesn't work, but you can kinda see me. We went to a couple of places. We went to Target and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a minute. We're gonna be on our way home. So, this is what I got. I'm holding my my stick, my big stick. Um, let me see if I can set you up. I gotta find the thing again. Hold on, oh, there's. Works. So we have our big long stick. Do you remember what it looked like before? With the thing. And now I put this on both ends. Didn't really turn out on that side, but this side looks really good. Um, anyways, this is the, I had to look it up again, the coxcomb or spiral hitching. As you can see, it goes in a spiral. And then we're putting on the, can't think of it, Turk's head on either side. So that's basically what it looks like. Very self-explanatory, well not self-explanatory for this one. For this, it's pretty self-explanatory. I will leave a link of where I found it. I just found it on Google. But I, w I will leave a link to the whole like destructions and everything in the description down below but that's what I'm using now holding it just like this just like normal this was sitting here and so I did hold it a little higher than normal I think that's why I didn't like it because I couldn't hold it you know it made you hold it here well, it's a lot of weight up there 
you hold it just a little farther back, you can kind of stabilize it a little a little better, um, or even rest it against your your forearm arm if you actually have to. Um, but yeah, I I really like it. You'll probably see a lot more paracording here in the near future, only because, like I said, it's my favorite hobby. Um, I love doing it. Hold on a second. So yeah, you'll you'll probably see a lot more paracording, uh, whether it be bracelets or um, I'm planning on getting a couple of things very very soon. Um, so yeah, I'll be paracording something for those. Um, it'll probably be mostly red and black. That's that's my kind of signature. If you see red and black anywhere near me, that that that's are those are two of my favorite colors. So, I mean, seriously, my paracord is red and black. My phone has a case on it that's red and black. Most of them are red and black. Um, my tool bag is red and black whole bunch of stuff. My card holder is red and silver, but that's the only thing that they had, so I got the red one. My business cards are red and black. I, I, everything is red and black for me. I like it. That's what I like. Anyways, like I said, I will leave the description on where I found this setup. Uh, it's a tactical website. They do knots of the weeks. And it's they're really really nice. Um, I'll suck. That that was one of the hardest ones that they have ever done. Bless you. You okay? Those were a couple of big sneezes. Yeah, I think he's fine. But yeah, they. Uh, they said that was probably some of the hardest stuff that they've ever done um, when it came to um, knots, uh, the knots of the weeks. Um, so I'm trying to find yeah. So this is this is the. Quite get close enough. It's ITS Tactical. They do. They've done 166 um, knots of the weeks, basically. Um, some of them are just, you know, small knots, big clove hitches. Um, just a girth hitch and a cow hitch, hangman's noose, um, nothing really special until they did this, um, and they, like it, like I said, they said that they it was the some of the hardest knots that they've done. Um, but yeah, I'll put it on there. Um, and you'll see more of that high. Sorry, he's like sitting right underneath my legs. Dude. Dude. You're lucky I didn't put my foot down. Hey, up here. No? He's camera shy. But I think I am going to... Oh, there he is. I think I'm going to end this here. This has probably been a long vlog. I do have to edit it like crazy. Um, this is probably going to be the biggest edit that I've done. Um, it'll be worth it, I think. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if you noticed, I kind of set up a schedule. I was kind of trying to see how it worked first before I said something. 
I'm going to do every day at 2 p.m. Central Time. And that's going to be my, my setup, my... Uh, you will see it every day at 2 p.m. Uh, if unforeseen circumstances happen, whether it be I just can't, or there's no internet, or something like that, um, then I will be able, that I won't be able to, then it'll happen. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow at 2 o'clock Central Time for tomorrow's video. Actually, today's video. But it's coming out tomorrow. <laughs>